What is going on guys, The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to Beaming G Drive. But, today, we're gonna be heading over to the shop, because... I got a surprise for you guys. Uh, should we ray bomb this tunnel? <laughs> it sounds good! <laughs> oh my god, I love this car. I gotta take it easy though because I don't want to overheat the car. I want to run nitrous so bad but the car is like hey man take it easy on me. <laughs> it's so lucky I just I, I want to do a full pull. I want to do a full pull. I just can't do it. But the weight reduction did help the car. Way way peppier than it was. Listen to that whine. That's what sells the car right there, baby. It just hooks. All right, so here we are. So, you guys remember the first gen Rams? Well, I had to bring it over here to the shop. There's no way for me to do this truck on my own. I got three trucks, I'm working on the Mustang build myself. I'm like, you know what? I, to make these projects go by a lot quicker, a lot faster, I needed to take it to a shop. Um, and that's what I had to do. I took it to a shop just so we can get it done faster. So you guys can see these trucks a lot quicker. But look at this. Um, as you can see, we got the Project First Gen Ram trucks over here. So uh, he got the engine out of this one. He's going to be stripping this one down. He's going to be taking the cab off. And basically, uh, we, gonna, we basically would just have a shell. I mean, not a shell. We'll have a frame. So, I thought about it, and I was like, you know what, since we are going to tear this truck down, this frame will be pretty much perfect to build off of. So, we're going to be building off of this frame, and we're going to be making something a little bit cool, you know, but we got to buy all the parts again. So, yeah, it, it kind of sucks, but when it gets done, you guys, you might like it, some of you might like it, some of you guys might not like it, but... Most of you will like it, but that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to figure out exactly what we're going to do with the frame of this truck. So, stay tuned for that. Here's the gold one. This is the project that we're going to be working on. Um, however, we do have an engine for this truck. So, we got an engine already. It's going to be coming, and we're going to, he's going to be putting the engine in the truck, transmission, all that. Uh, and we got to locate a bed. That's going to be my job, is finding a bed for this truck. We're going to find a bed for it. The other one is the black truck. He worked on this truck for me. Uh, I wanted some special things. I wanted the I wanted this truck to be done a little bit. So I, I gave him a little bit of a list. And he completed the list. And we're going to take a look at it today. And I'm going to show you guys in the garage over here. We're going to take a look and see what he's done to the black truck. So the black truck here. So here it is. As you guys can see. It looks a little different, doesn't it? Well, it's because we got a new grill, we got a new grill, we got new headlights, a new turn signal light, we took the bug shield off the truck, we got bigger tires on the front in the rear, we got 265s in the front and rear, uh, heavy duty tires for the dually, since there is a dually. Uh, I kept the original wheels, you know, it's, it's going to be a workhorse, and that's what the black truck's going to be, is a legit workhorse. Um... And he got the trailer hitch installed. It did not have a trailer hitch. He installed the trailer hitch for me. And he installed the gooseneck. Which, can you see it? Uh, no, you know. Nope. Nobody, nope. You ain't gonna be able to see it. But I'll show you guys when we get in the truck. He got an exhaust on it. Magma flow for now. Uh, might change it up later. Um, and he fixed the timing issue on the truck. So it now runs a little bit better. So, fire it up. There's the idle. So the idle is a lot lower now, which I believe is like 900. It's it's idle at about 900. These trucks should run a little bit higher than normal, uh, uh, just due to the nature of the engine. So, yeah, it's a five valve. A five valve. It's a five valve, ladies and gents. It is a it's a freaking 12 valve. So 12 valves should be cranked up a little bit higher. You know, it's an older truck. He did put new fuel injectors in the truck, uh, so it has brand new fuel injectors. It has 50-pound fuel injectors, nothing crazy, not now, you know. I didn't want to 
throw something at this truck because, you know, it's an old engine and all that. So it just has 50 fuel, fifty pound fuel injectors in it. Um, the headlights are the hell the blah, blah, blah. the headlights and the turn signals are halo. Uh, you come on back here to the back of the truck. We got custom built tail lights for the truck, so the tail lights are custom built. Um, you knew somebody that custom built them, they custom built them. They're like a clear, but you see how they're like clear, but inside they're not really. It's like special, it's special, it's really cool. I like it. Uh, and everything else is just basically normal. We just built it so that way we can actually use the truck, we can use it, we can tow with it. And it has the gooseneck hitch. Oh, you dang moron! Jesus Christ! I just got the truck out the shop, man! I mean, you got more damage than me. My God. He got way more damage than I did. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, you got insurance, man. Come on now. This is ridiculous. I literally just got the truck out the shop. Gonna have a nice little fun drive. And then here come you. You're just in the dang way. Alright, you're good to go. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie. This big Dodge tore him up. <laughs> this big Dodge tore him up, man. I look at Not a scratch on it. Look at this. <laughs> ah, they don't make them like they used to, man. They really don't. <laughs> they really, really don't. All right, let's go on the drive like I was originally was going to. But uh, we also went with uh, different, we went with uh, coil springs. We got heavy duty coil springs for the truck due to uh, I am building this truck to be a tow rig. If you guys haven't noticed, uh, the truck's going to be a tow rig for us. So it's going to be an old school classic uh, truck that is capable it has to be able to, to to go to work you know if you're gonna have a truck like this it gotta be able to work you know i'm not like a ford you know fords you just sit around you look at it like oh how pretty this truck is gonna look good it's gonna look original and it's going to work like a dodge is meant for you know we ain't we ain't having that high luxury like fords do you know they just sit and no one wants to drive them they want to just look at them and they didn't never go to work Dodge, we go to work, baby, and we look good doing it. That's what we do, and that's how we do it. So that's how the first gen, this one, in is. Now, the let me tell you about what we're gonna do with the 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 I guess gold or I guess it's gold. The gold one is gonna be built, wah, like high class, high class show truck material. That's what the first gen or gold truck gonna be. But it's gonna take a lot of work, and that's why. We ain't rushing this, you know, we don't want to rush it, because rushing it, it's going to turn out like crap. It's going to look bad, it's going to look terrible, and it's going to look not bad, it's going to look terrible. I'll see you guys a little bit later when the sun goes down, I'm going to show you guys these headlights and show you how they look. They look pretty good. Alright, so, sun went down on us here. We're back at the dirt track, and I wanted to show you guys these headlights real quick. Now, these are, this is how the headlights look, and the turn signals, the turn signals are pretty freaking cool. It's so satisfying to see them, like, flash. Um, and like I say, these are halo, but they're, like, the halos are the outside portion of the light. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we still got the side marker, you know, this because it's a dually. You have to have the side markers on the dually. Uh, and here's the lights for the rear. You can barely see it, but you see how they flash from the inside of the light. That's also really, really nice. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. That's just really nice. If you want to just see the uh, the turn signal, I can turn my headlights off. All right. That's just the turn signal now. Looks really nice. All right. So, when it's running, that's how it looks. With the halo. With the lights on. It looks really cool. Really, really cool. I like it. This is such a uh, cool design. I love the headlights. But there is the first gen coming together. And then the other two, they're going to come together. The box truck, uh, I had to take it somewhere special because it also needed work. But due to the type of truck, uh, it needs... Uh, like some more heavy it needs to be like heavy duty heavy duty since it's a, at the end of the day it's like a box truck but you guys haven't seen the old 86 chevy monster truck in a while well 
Apparently, my lights don't work on the truck. Uh, Chevy. Well, it's a Chevy thing, I guess. A car had snuck into the dirt track late at night and they got stuck. I mean, you can't just drive on my dirt track and not expect this to happen. I mean, come on. Show him off here a little bit. Come on. Get up there. There you go. There you go. Like I say, don't come onto my dirt track and expect this to ha not happen. It's going to happen. Especially if I see you on here trespassing you get stuck, I'm going to crush you. Just like this. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.